Hey everyone, in this video I want to quickly show you how to set up your new Mako TK with the Hanglong TK 6 unit. When you purchase your Mako TK, you will get from me four leads. We'll have the IR receiver lead, the old 5 pin Mako cable that you'd be familiar with, but it's only now down to 3 pins. We have a trigger, trigger cable here for the um, BB unit, which actually triggers the IR signal. We have the Microsoft replicator cable and the power cable, which is usually red and black. I'll try and make them red and black. Okay, so this is where we plug them in. First up, we'll go with the power cable. The power input for Mako is this red uh, um, connector here. It may not be red, but anyway, it's this bottom corner connector. And it goes, when you do power from the TK, you've got to make sure that the jumper here is on the bottom two pins. So that guy just goes in here, uh, a wrong way around, and then I suggest for the time being that you take the power from the camera port, which is this second from the end connection here, that goes in there. So that's our Mako powered up. Okay, next thing we're going to connect is our Microsoft, uh, sorry, I always say that, Microsoft, the MicroSwitch replicator cable. Now they go on these two pins here, so the top corner is the replicator for Mako, just plugs in here and then the bottom corner is the input for the micro switch on the TK now halfway through okay now we want to trigger our IR and to do that we use the signal to the BB gun surprisingly now that cable goes into this top corner here and it then goes into our far top corner here Try not to mix, mix around the these two cables. Radio, we're almost there. One more to go. The uh, IR input, so it comes from the Mako into the uh, TK, and that goes into the old Mako input port here, our old five-pin port. For those of you familiar with Mako, let's put, plug him in there. Why does he want to go in? There we go. Plug him in there, and then we'll plug him into the IR receiver port here on the TK. Now, just quickly, um, whatever you had plugged in here in the IR from the factory, you just remove. So you remove your IR receiver and your IR emitter, and you would plug those into these two ports here on Mako. So that's for your IR receiver, and the one next to it is for your IR emitter. Okay, unless you've taken advantage of our special deal and got yourself a Piranha. If you do, Piranha will come in two parts. You have the bottom and the, uh, the, the the top. You've got to make sure you put them together correctly. On the, I've lost my little pointer, but on the piranha base, if you look at one end here, you'll see little arrows. There's an arrow there and there's an arrow on that side. That is the direction in which your IR must be facing or your piranha must be facing for your shot. Don't connect it up the other way around. So you've got your arrows pointing that way. You've got your top with the emitter, so that will sit on like so. Okay, so we're just going to connect up a IR. We'll connect up this one. I'm just connect the piranha so I can show you everything in operation. And piranha just goes into this port here. That's your receiver taken care of and the emitter now taken care of. I'm now just going to plug in a, a Manta unit so just to give you a bit of a visual indication of what's going on you'll see it on the LED screen it's LED, LCD screen there. Okay so that's all connected time to turn it on. So we turn on our radio first turn on our hang long unit now, make it all go through its uh, startup period. You don't need to wait for that to finish before you can start up your tank. Okay, tank started up. We'll just check that everything's working. We'll test fire. These two buttons. That's working. That's good. And now let's simulate an IR hit with our Sony remote and pressing this button here. So we'll get it into focus. And there we go, Mako is all set up with your TK6 and working, thank you.